Sandra Day O'Connor, the first woman to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court, has died at the age of 93. She was a former chancellor at the College of William and Mary, the second one to pass away this week. On Wednesday, former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger died at the age of 100. O'Connor died from complications related to advanced dementia and a respiratory illness. Ten in your side's Amy Avery joins us now with more on O'Connor's life and legacy. Amy? Well, Chris O'Connor served as William and Mary's chancellor from 2005 until 2012 after retiring from the Supreme Court. She held the court center for more than a generation, blazing a historic trail as our nation's first female justice. What a special honor it is for me to join the likes of George Washington, our first president, John Tyler, our 10th president, and former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger. I mean, that's a very impressive roster. That was Sandra Day O'Connor speaking at William & Mary shortly after retiring from the Supreme Court. President Ronald Reagan appointed O'Connor to the High Court in 1981. On the Supreme Court, O'Connor cast a key swing vote to uphold Roe v. Wade when the court's earlier decision on abortion rights was challenged. She also voted to stop the Florida recount in the 2000 presidential election between former President George Bush and former Vice President Al Gore. O'Connor retired in 2006 at the age of 75 after serving 24 years on the high court to care for her husband who was struggling with Alzheimer's. O'Connor grew up on a cattle ranch straddling the Arizona-New Mexico border. In her investiture ceremony speech, she acknowledged her humble beginnings. To imagine that our nation's second oldest institution of higher learning here in the great state of Virginia has decided to accept as its chancellor, a cowgirl from Arizona. O'Connor succeeded Henry Kissinger as chancellor of William and Mary. Kissinger died Wednesday at the age of 100. O'Connor passed the torch of chancellor to Robert Gates in 2012. He was reappointed for a second term in 2019 and is still serving as chancellor. O'Connor's funeral plans are still unknown.